Hi everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Health Rambling. Today is August 1st, 2010. It's around 10.50 a.m. It's well another early morning one. Um, good week so far. Um, not as great as the last past couple weeks, but I really enjoyed the week and you know, kind of take the bull by the horns and just kind of enjoy yourself, in which case that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, work was work, can't really complain about it. Um, and then actually Friday night, um, I went out with the new roommate, April. Uh, she basically, you know, wanted me to kind of meet her friends and whatnot. So we actually went to a little sports bar off of Alternate 19. And uh, basically, I was just kind of playing the designated driver there. Um, and got to meet, the, you know, the set of kids. I, I call them kids, but, you know, they're like the 21 to 23-year-olds, you know, younger than me. But it was really cool kind of meeting them, kind of getting their vibe and see what they're about. Uh, d definitely kind of a different vibe than last Saturday when I went to World of uh, Beer. And it was basically like, you know, 30 plus your old kind of upper class, not upper class, but swanky Tampa stuff. And this was kind of more of a salt of the earth kind of, you know, Pasco kind of a uh, different, just a different vibe. Whereas at World of Beer, they all had their swanky little nice old, you know, droid phones and iPhones and everybody here had, you know, my kind of phones, which is kind of weird and interesting, just kind of the polar opposite. But a uh, good, good, uh, good group of kids. Um, they Some of them are gamers, so it was cool to talk, able to talk some gamer talk to them and whatnot. And, uh, had a good night, just kind of meeting them and drinking water and just chilling and uh, had a nice little entertaining evening. Um, and then last night, which would have been Saturday night, um, I basically, actually Saturday day, I did a bunch of yard work. Like I mentioned before, I'm still kind of wor working on renovating that whole porch, in which case there's pictures up on Facebook. Um, but yesterday, um, basically, I, I kind of got my mom's help. Her boyfriend has an SUV. And we basically got together because so I went out to Home Depot and basically got some uh, some lo red lava rocks. For some reason, I was looking at all the different fillers, and I really wanted to do something different, so I wanted to not do mulch, so I got a uh, red lava rock, so like 20 bags of them, and kind of worked on just kind of flushing them out one night, I still kind of got to even them out, but I really like how the porch is coming along, and I think I might do something different for the other side of the porch, but it's really cool, and I'm really enjoying it, um, and then Saturday night, I actually went to a super secret, can't really talk about it, meeting in Tampa, which was kind of cool, in which case, just not, you can't tell what happened, but I ate two slices of wedding cake. Yeah, two slices of wedding cake, which was really cool. Um, good cake. One of the better wedding cakes that I've had, actually. Um, and then went on a little scouting adventure, in which case I was kind of scouting out a new location for a new kind of a, a side thing I'm working on. In which case, man, I haven't driven through Tampa in a very long time. And now I know kind of why. It was just kind of weird to go from, you know, kind of like Sly 19th and kind of go south of that and kind of just explore and find your way to stuff. It was very, uh, very interesting. Uh, to say the least, and uh, it was just really, really, really interesting, just kind of driving around South Tampa, um, and then of course, on the way back up to Pasco, I was like, you know what, I'll take 75 to 54, something I haven't done in a while, usually I don't like taking the interstates because they're always crowded or have construction, took 75, and it was pretty good, until I uh, kind of, I don't really know if I missed my exit, but I probably should have took the exit before the exit I thought I was going to take, because once I realized I should have took that one exit, boom, construction, boom, congestion, boom, there goes like 30 minutes. So I was trying to do a time trial from, you know, location H to basically home. And yeah, that through the time trial, it took, you know, hour and a half just to get back home. So if you take into account the detour, it's probably like an hour 10. But uh, just really weird. And, you know, I, I probably will more or less stick to the normal roads, like 41 and whatnot, if you know the area. But hadn't been out driving in a while, and that's something I normally don't do. And it was just kind of fun to go out driving and exploring and just really interesting. That's what I did last night. I find that enjoyable and just kind of relaxing. Um, what I'm going to do real quick now is move on to the kind of things I've watched recently. Moving on here, let's do a... I watched Kick-Ass recently. You know, Kick-Ass was basically the one, basically, has Hate Girl, that little girl that basically is all badass and has guns and whatnot. This is kind of the main character, Kick-Ass. But, uh... And I don't know what to think about the movie. I mean, I like its concept and it's funny. And it has its moments, but I really, really didn't dig the movie that much. It was just... I don't know. I mean, it's, she basically makes it she makes it worth it and fun to watch. I mean, there's some really good action set pieces. But other than that, there's really not much else about the movie. So if you're going to see it, don't have really super high expectations of it. Nicolas Cage does do a great job. Man. Uh, moving on here. I did also watch Operation Endgame, which was a nice, funny little film. It's basically kind of like a spy versus spy type of film and kind of an Endgame type, well, Operation Endgame. But it has a really good, solid, just kind of all-star cast. And I think, if I remember right, this is done by Darko Studios, who, of course, did you know Donnie Darko. And the, he also did Southland Tales, which also kind of had an all-star cast. And I hated Southland Tales. I liked that it had a bunch of different actors doing different things. But, man, Southland Tales, this narrative was just horrible in the end. 
So I was almost kind of afraid that was going to happen with this, but it still has a solid narrative, and it's just really good kind of an almost action movie. It has just a really good solid cast. Zach Afrin, Zach Afrin, Zach Afrin, Zach Afrin um, Rob Corddry, and a bunch of other people I don't remember off the top of my head, but just really good movie, and I recommend people to watch it. It didn't even come out in theaters. I think it just came out straight to like DVD and Blu-ray. So uh, definitely check it out. It's very really worth it. That's Operation Endgame. Uh, the other thing I watched recently, which I did had no idea was actually coming out or anything, was basically Batman Under the Red Hood. Um, first thing you'll notice in this one, if you watch it, is that, of course, uh, Joker does not do, or Mark Hamill doesn't do Joker, but it's not that big of a deal. It's still a good, solid story. Um, in which case, basically, like, a vigilante shows up to clean up Gotham, and he basically doesn't have Batman's morals. He basically is badass and will kill people to get the job done, which is something... It's actually very interesting. I think it's been addressed before in the Batman universe, but this is, I guess, the first animated feature that we've had that kind of did that. But I really enjoyed it, because, you know, basically having him go against somebody of equal caliber who basically does what it takes to get, you know, clean up Gotham and everything. And you kind of get the idea. I mean, it has it has a really good all-star cast. you got Ra's al Ghul in it, you got Nightwing, and, of course, you have the Red Hood and Batman, and uh, you have Cyber Ninjas. That was kind of cool, just kind of like Cyber Ninjas thrown in there. It was fun. Um, so definitely watch it. I mean, it's not along the caliber of Gotham City, which was, of course, the compilation a la Animatrix that they did, in which case you should watch Gotham City, because that's just awesome. You should also watch Halo Legend, too. Like, the Halo Legend, Animatrix, and Gotham City are, like, good compilation things for, like, just, you know, if you're a fan of animation and whatnot. Those are really good pieces. But Batman Under the Hood, it was very good and enjoyable. Uh, moving on here. Oh, restarting that one again. Let's go ahead. Talk about the gameplay. I haven't been doing that much gaming because it's kind of summer drought, so I'm using it to kind of taking that time to kind of do other things like the house projects and whatnot. But I do have Sacred Two Fallen Angel, which I played before, never beat. But Darren on Xbox Live thing, he plays it a bunch, so I was like, hey, I'll get it and maybe partner up with him. And then the next actual game that's coming out is gonna be Mafia, and that's uh, August 24th. And I don't, I gotta put something else in there. But I don't know what. So, <laughs> excuse me. I was thinking about putting in some type of sports game because I usually don't play sports games. So. I was kind of asking some friends around what you know good sports game I should just play. And I'm thinking about maybe swinging towards Tiger Woods. So we'll see what happens. And I'll may add that later. Now, real quick, I want to ask you guys your opinion, the five people that watch this. I have my 10-year reunion coming up next week, next Saturday. It was supposed to be at Spartan Manor, which is literally like two blocks down from my house. And I was like, oh, cool, two blocks down from the house. I can drink and walk home. But apparently now it's at Shepherd's in Clearwater Beach, which I never heard of before, but listening to the radio now, people are like, woo, Shepard, that's the big party there, that's where everybody's at. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should go to it. Basically, you can't see, but on the, like, the Arvis VP side, out of the 201, you know, there are 201 no responses, and there's 19, or 13 responses, four, nine people, four with guests, in which case I'm one of them, which is sad. But uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't want to go to this thing and then nobody I want to meet there. There's been no kind of flutter on the Facebook. Like, there's nobody saying, hey, anybody doing any pre-reunion things? Anybody want to hang out? There's none of that whatsoever. And honestly, I don't hang out with anybody from high school anymore. That's just because I don't usually have friends, in which case most of you know why. But uh, it's just really interesting. I don't know what to do. And I, I guess if I'm going out more and doing stuff, I should probably go to this and kind of shoot, see what it's about. But once again, I won't be able to drink, so I, I don't drink and drive. So, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But... Maybe I'll do it, and you know, maybe, apparently Shepherd's has other places too, like it has three different, like, lounges or whatnot, so you don't have to hang out there, you can just basically go in and hang out with whoever, which I think is why they probably moved it to Shepherd's as opposed to Spartan Manor, having a big hall with nobody in it. But, uh, let me know what you guys think, did you guys go to your 10-year reunion, are you too young to go to your 10-year reunion, would you go to your 10-year reunion, is it worth it, should I try it, I don't know, but you know, we'll see what happens, but, uh, let me know, and, uh, other than that, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm kind of just riding out this really good, this vibe. Uh, as I mentioned, I was talking to some people the other night, and I was like, you know what? I'm unnaturally optimistic, um, and I find that super big, very mega unsettling for me because I'm, I'm at heart a realistic and pessimistic. So when things start looking up for me, I'm waiting for something bad to happen. Like I'm foreseeing something happening with my car, but who knows? But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.